what do the Douglas Entrance, Biltmore Hotel, and the City Hall building all have in common? They are just a few of the many sites in Coral Gables that are listed on the National Register of Historic Places. In fact, there are 11 locations within the city that have made this distinguished list, with the Biltmore Hotel also being designated a National Historic Landmark. Other sites on the list are the Merrick House, the family home of city founder George Merrick, the old Coral Gables Police and Fire Station building, home today to the Coral Gables Museum, the Coral Gables Congregational Church, which was the very first church to be built within the city, the McFarland Historic District, where descendants of the early Bohemian immigrants who settled there still live today. Immigrants whose specialized work with coral rock was instrumental to the city's early building projects. Coral Gables Elementary School, which was financed and built by George Merrick himself. The Coco Plum Women's Club, whose building and its prominent Mediterranean architectural features have become a community landmark. The Coral Gables Women's Club, whose original headquarters were located in the Douglas entrance before the completion of their own building in 1937. And of course, the Venetian pool, which originally served as a rock quarry pit from which the limestone used in many of Coral Gables' earliest buildings was mined. Most of these historic places were constructed during the early to mid 1920s and are all still in use today. Not only do they continue to serve as a reminder of Coral Gables' rich history, but have been recognized nationally as historical icons that help define 20th century America. This is Adam Yogel for Coral Gables Television. Be sure to follow us on Facebook.com slash City of Coral Gables and on Twitter at City Coral Gables. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel and e-news at e-news at coralgables.com. And if you haven't already, download the Intelligent app.